Hey everybody, what's going on? I am Greg Sussman, joined today by Megan Nunez of FanDuel. We're going to break down three big-time bowl games for this weekend. What's going on, Megan? Not a whole lot, just trying to make some money. You're always trying to make money, and so am I, and Jim Sonis is as well, especially when you're taking Northwestern as three-and-a-half-point favorites against the Auburn Tigers. They're playing on New Year's Day inside the Citrus Bowl. It's a good spot for Northwestern. Yeah, I think that they are out to prove that there's not just brains but bronze um, at Northwestern, and beating an SEC school in the playoffs is just the way to do that. I mean, these guys play a bend but don't break defense, uh, and they force their opponents to make mistakes. Sure, their offense leaves something to be desired, um, but with all the uncertainty right now around the Auburn program, Gus getting fired, I'm going to go with this consistent Northwestern team and pray that they force Bo Nix to make mistakes and that their defense holds strong like it has done all year. I'm going with the Wildcats minus the three and a half. It's been a really good year for Pat Fitzgerald's team uh, in Northwestern. Not so much for Auburn. Disappointing you're firing their head coach. But, hey, we're in a bowl game. We'll see what kind of power the Big Ten really had this year. And we'll see what Northwestern is for real trying to beat an SEC team and hopefully cover those three and a half points. Let's move over to the college football playoffs. And let's begin with the Rose Bowl. Alabama taking on Notre Dame and Alabama this is crazy. Is a 19 and a half point favorite according to the FanDuel Sportsbook. We saw Notre Dame fall to Clemson last time out. Alabama, the number one team in the country all year long. Not only do the bookmakers think they could wallop Notre Dame, so do you. You're taking Alabama as a 19 and a half point favorite here. How can we like Nick Saban's squad? Not to win because, well, obviously, but 19 and a half points. That's a lot. Yeah, it feels dirty laying that many points in a playoff game, but I'm doing it with Bama. Uh, they failed to cover last week at Florida, but I've noticed if Bama does have a weakness, it's a high-powered offense, and Notre Dame is no Florida. Sure, Notre Dame's defense has been great, but there has not been a defense all year that could stop the tide, and I don't think that Notre Dame is going to be the first. I think Ian Book is going to make some big plays, but inevitably it's not going to be enough to keep up with that trio in Jones, Smith, and Harris. I think that this game is going to be explosive in Bama, as you said, just wallops Notre Dame. I'm going with the Tide. Roll Tide, says Megan. Not an easy thing for you to say as an LSU fan, but... <laughs> Ultimately, Nick Saban and Alabama, their offense just too powerful. Notre Dame's not going to be able to keep up. Brian Kelly's defense not good enough either. Alabama, 19.5 point favorites right now, and a number that they will cover on New Year's Day. The other playoff game on January 1st features Ohio State taking on Clemson. And you liked a Big Ten team earlier in Northwestern. You like another one here with Ohio State. The Buckeyes are seven and a half point underdogs to Trevor Lawrence and the Clemson Tigers. Ohio State, they've gotten a lot of flack for not playing enough games. Davo Sweeney doesn't believe they should even be here. You're back in Ryan Day's squad. How come? Yeah, so obviously it's a lot easier to go 6-0 and than, say, 9-1, and um, like the Clemson Tigers. But I really feel like this is a great spot for Justin Fields. I mean, all of the pressure is on Clemson. This has become a norm for this team to have undefeated seasons. Trevor Lawrence just to be absolutely amazing. Playoffs, championships, all the pressure's on them, and they are expected to beat Ohio State. My thought is this is kind of a revenge game, a revenge spot for this Ohio State team and specifically for Justin Fields. I think he goes out there and leaves it all on the field. And I thought this was going to be more of a three, three and a half point game. I'm seeing a seven and a half now, so I'm jumping all over it. And I really think that Ohio State can keep it within that seven and a half with Clemson. Trevor Lawrence versus Justin Fields here in the college football playoffs, an NFL draft evaluator's dream, perhaps the number one and number two overall pick in the NFL draft coming up in just a few months, and so much more on the line. As you said, Clemson expected to get to the national title game every year to face off against Alabama. Ohio State, well, not really uh, much different, right? They expect to get there as well. These two teams face off. It should be a really good game, the final playoff game on January 1st. Ohio State and Clemson. Megan, back in the Buckeyes.
That's going to do it for us here for this year on the FanDuel Hurry Up. It has been a fantastic, fantastic year. So much more to come in 2021. Megan, I cannot wait. Me either, and I will see you next year, as corny as that is. <laughs> for Megan Nunez, for everybody at FanDuel, my name is Greg Sussman. Thank you so much for watching us all year long, and we'll see you back here on Monday in 2021 for another edition of the FanDuel Hurry Up.